Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a beautiful floral motif that has only three petals. For work you'll need some yarn and a crochet hook. Begin the work by making a chain of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. The foundation ring is ready. Now begin the first round, a round of single crochet stitches. So chain one to bring up the yarn. And now single crochet 23 into the foundation ring. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, Five. Continue till you have 23 single crochet stitches made into the foundation ring. I have single crocheted 23 into the ring. Now complete the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. The first round is ready. The second round is a round of cluster stitches that will work as the foundation for the petals. So to start the second round, first chain one to bring up the yarn and then chain four more for the chain space. One, two, three, four. Into the second stitch of previous round, make a two treble crochet cluster. Yarn over the hook twice to begin the first treble Skip one stitch of previous round and work into the second one. Work the treble like you normally would until you have two loops on the hook. Now hold two loops and begin the second treble into the same stitch. Work till you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through all three to complete the cluster. Continue chain six for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now into the third stitch of previous round, work a two double treble crochet cluster stitch. Yarn over the hook three times for the double treble. One, two, three, skip two stitches. One, two, and double treble crochet into the third stitch. Do not complete the double treble stop when you have two loops on the hook. Then again yarn over the hook three times and work the second double treble into the same stitch of previous round. Work till you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through all three to complete the cluster. Continue. Chain six for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now into the third stitch of previous round, make a two treble crochet cluster. Skip one, two stitches and work into the third stitch. Work the treble till you have two loops on the hook and then work the second treble till you have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through three to complete the cluster. Now let's continue chain four for the chain space. One, two, three, four. Skip the next stitch of previous round, this one, and single crochet into the second stitch. These three clusters are the foundation for three petals. Now to complete this round I'll single crochet 11 but I'll work not into the stitches of previous round, I'll work into the foundation ring. I'll work till I reach the beginning of this current round to complete it. 
So let's do it. Single crochet 11 into the foundation ring. Work around the stitches of the first round. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the last one, 11. Now complete the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch we made to start this second round. The second round is ready. Here what we have. Now I'll continue with the last round, round 3, and in this round I'll be working around the posts of cluster stitches. So on the two treble crochet cluster there should be a small petal and on the two double treble crochet cluster a large one. So there will be two small petals and one large one in between. Let's begin round 3. Into the first chain space of 4, single crochet 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then slip into the following cluster stitch. Now I'll start crocheting the first petal, the small one. A half of the petal will be worked around this post of the cluster and the other half around the opposite one. So now continue chain 4 to bring up the yarn and start the small petal. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'll work under the post of the first treble. Turn the work a bit for your convenience and work under this post of the first treble. Make three unfinished trebles. Yarn over the hook two times to work the treble. Do not complete the first treble. Do not complete the second one. And do not complete the third one. Then hold all those four loops on the hook and continue make four unfinished doubles, working under the same post. One, two, three, and four. Eight loops are on the hook now. Hold them and make one more unfinished double into the same stitch of round before the previous one into the single crochet that this cluster we are working on is made into. But to work this double insert the hook into the stitch from the back to the front, like this. Work the double and do not complete it as well. Here what we have now, as you can see the last double I worked into the same stitch of round before the previous one that the cluster is made into. Now we have 9 loops on the hook. To complete the half of the petal, do yarn over and pull through 2 loops on the hook. Repeat 8 times. Work till you have 1 working loop on the hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here you can see a half of the first petal is ready. To work the other half, repeat the same stitch sequence, working under the post of the second stitch of the same cluster. So repeat. First make three unfinished trebles. One. Two 
and three. Then work four unfinished doubles. Work under the same post. One, two, three, and four. Now make one more unfinished double working into the same stitch that the cluster we're working on is coming out of. But this time insert the hook into the stitch as we normally would from the front to the back. And now to complete this side of the petal, repeat yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's stop here and see. Now the first petal is almost ready. This is the small petal. And this is how it looks from the back. Now to continue, chain three, one, two, three, turn the work to the back. And here on the back we have a chain of four. Here is this chain of four. So now work a slip stitch into the first chain stitch from the top. Like this. So now the first petal is ready. To continue this round, we need to work under the following chain space of previous round. First chain three to lower the yarn and to reach that chain space. One, two, three. And now single crochet six into the following chain space of six of previous round. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then slip into the following cluster stitch. Now from this point we can start the second petal, which will be the large one. To start the large petal, chain 5 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now the same, first we'll crochet this half of the petal, and then the opposite one. So turn the work and under the post of the first double treble, under this post, make three unfinished double trebles. Yarn over the hook three times to work the double treble. So do not complete the first double treble. Then do not complete the second one. And do not complete the third one. Hold four loops on the hook and continue. Make three unfinished trebles working under the same post. One, two, and three. Seven loops are on the hook. Hold them and now make three unfinished doubles working under the same post. One, two, and three. Now the same as we did on our previous petal, make one more unfinished double working into the single crochet of round before the previous one. This says the single crochet that this cluster stitch is made into. I work inserting the hook into the stitch from the back to the front, like this. And again, do not complete this double. Let me show you. Here is the front of the petal. I worked into this single crochet stitch but from the back. So now we have 11 loops on the hook. To complete a half of the petal, repeat yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook 
10 times. Work till you have one working loop on the hook. Now you can see a half of the large petal is ready. To work the other half, repeat the same stitch sequence by working under the post of the second stitch of the same cluster. So again, turn the work and first make three unfinished double trebles. One. Two, and the last one, three. Hold four loops and continue. Make three unfinished trebles. Work under the same post. One, two, and Three. And now make three unfinished doubles under the same post. One, two, and three. Hold ten loops on the hook and make one more unfinished double working into the same stitch that the cluster we are working on is coming out of. This time insert the hook into the stitch from the front to the back as normal. Do not complete this double. 11 loops are on the hook. Repeat yarn over and pull through two 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, 10. The second petal, the large one, is almost ready. We just need to do the top. Let's continue for this chain three. One, two, three. Turn to the back and slip into the first chain stitch of the chain of five we made to start the same petal. So now the second petal is ready. To continue this round, chain four to lower the yarn. One, two, three, four. And now work into the following chain space of six of previous round. Single crochet six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then slip into the following cluster. From this point, we will start the third petal, which will be the same as the first one. For this, work following the same instructions as for the first petal. Before we continue, I would like to remind you that we have one small petal and one big one. This is the front of our work and this is the back. So to continue this petal, you just need to chain four to bring up the yarn and work around the posts of the treble stitches of the cluster. Now you need to continue this round and crochet the third petal the exact same way as the first one. So keep working. I'm about to complete the last small petal. I stopped on a slip stitch worked into the first chain stitch on the chain of four on the back. Now continue this round chain three to lower the yarn and single crochet four into the following chain space of four of previous round. One, two, three, and four. Then Slip into the next single crochet of previous round. 
I'm going to stop the work at this point. You can cut off the yarn and hide the tails. Here how our beautiful three petal floral motif looks like from the front. And this is its back. The center of this motif you can leave as it is with an opening or you can add a large bead. Also as an idea you can continue the last round and work a reverse single crochet trim as I did here. To the center you can add a crochet button which you will be able to create by yourself following our other video tutorial. For this visit our website sharonating.com chapter crochet elements tutorial 7. Thank you so much for watching and don't miss our next projects.